Hi, welcome to Cropi Lesson 21. In the previous version of this video, we've been teaching you how to use the Cropi camera using a software called Camorama. Camorama has been expired, and so we've created a new video teaching a new method of using the Cropi camera. Let's start. So the first step will be to actually get a live stream of our Cropi video. We can do that using a software called mPlayer. To execute the command, we should open Terminal. Let's open it again right here on the top, the black screen. We open Terminal, and then we need to write sudo, which is the command that will give us administration root access um, to the software. And then, after writing sudo, we will write mPlayer, which is the software name, and then TV, like that. TV means the location of the camera uh, in the crop eye, the way that it's connected to the crop eye. Now let's press enter. It should open an M player screen, which is a live stream of our crop eye camera. Now to prove this is a live stream, I can move my hand right here and you can see it's pretty live. Now we have a live stream video of our crop eye camera, but what can we do with it? Let's say we want to take some pictures of the current state of the camera. For example, if my hand is here, I want to take a picture with my hand. So to do that, we will use a different command. First, let's close the current program, the mPlayer. We can close it here and let's write clear command to clear the screen. Now, the second command called FS webcam. We start by writing FS webcam. We give it a we write, now we write R. R means stands for resolution. So the resolution we will use in our example is 640 over 480. This is a pretty small resolution and you might think it's low quality, but for what we are trying to achieve, it's pretty good. Sometimes you would like the images to be low resolution, so they will be lightweight and easy to use. So we will use a low resolution picture right now. Now we will need to define what kind of image will it be. Will it be a PNG or JPEG? We will go, go with JPEG to start with. So let's write JPEG. Now we need to save the image somewhere. Now how about saving it over our desktop? So we write save and then the location is home pi desktop. And let's call the image photo.jpeg. That's where we want to save it. Now if we press enter, it's going to capture the frames it's going to save the image, quality 85. It's where we set the quality over here. And now if we open the image, we will see the image right here. And you can see that the quality is pretty solid. It's pretty good quality. Now, let's say now I will move my hand over the camera. I'll put my hand and let's run the command again with my hand over it. Now let's open the image. You can see my hand is over the camera. Great. Now we learn how to use the Cropa camera and we can use it in multiple purposes. See you in our next lesson.